So today I'm going to show you how to access an electronic book on eBook Central. I'm going to take you through the basics of first finding the book on the catalogue before we move on. So you go onto the university's website and you click on library. Once you're there, you hover over resources and we're going to the catalogue. Now we're first going to search to see if the library has a book. So you click on title and you either type the name of the book in there or you copy and paste it. So this tells you we've got the book, there's electronic access. So we're clicking for access. Once we're there, we need to log in to authenticate ourselves. So you click on click here. What's going to happen when you click there, the Microsoft window is going to jump up. Mine's going to look different because I've logged in before. So now we're there. Because I've been there, it's asking me to pick which account I'm using. You're going to get the other window, and in that window, you're going to type your student number at ufs.ac.za or alternatively your staff email if you're a staff member. I'm just going to select mine. Your password is going to be your Blackboard password. So that is a couple of extra steps you might or might not see depending on which browser you use. Ordinarily what happens if you use the same browser every time, it's only going to ask you the first time to log in. So here we've got into the book and the book details. In the right hand side in the top you have the option of signing in. Create an account for yourself there. It's free so that if you want to borrow the book for, if that allows you to borrow the book for one day, two days, you can borrow it. This one does not allow it, it only allows for reading online. You see download book, that's where you would borrow the book, is unavailable. So very straightforward, you can read online, you can download a certain chapter, it tells you how many pages you're allowed to download for this chapter 50. So you could scroll down, look at the contents and decide, do you just want to read it online or do you want to download? And that is the basics of eBook e Central. When it does allow you to download a book, you need Adobe Reader. The book is downloaded. It gives you the option for how many days. It could vary. And after that amount of days, it just disappears off your system forever. Thank you.